pull of delusion is the topic. You see, to pull, you need something to pull from. You know the, who is the originator of computers? He probably is not the originator of computer, but the heart of computer, one may say, Alan Turing. And uh, he sort of invented the heart of computer at a very difficult time, which was the World War II. Mm. But anyway, he has a very fascinating life. But one of, he was a very peculiar character, as you can, brilliant mind, but uh, not necessarily a very social, sociable. And he was bullied big time when he was in a school. And uh, pretty much all the students, besides one of who was his very good friend, who would just uh, go and then torment them. And then they do all sorts of nasty things with him. Like on a wooden floor, they would just push him in and then try to close the door. So it's like sort of like a, he's suffocating in that small confined space. Mm. And he was afraid, so he would resist that. He would resist that, and then these guys would just have even more fun with that and then just nail him into that wooden box and then disappear. But in there, in time, he realized, and his friend also made him realize that, you say, why do these so-called bullies uh, like to bully? And he says, bullying or being mean also gives a sense of enjoyment. And that sort of gave him a trick. He said, like, if you take out the enjoyment, that act of bullying or act of being mean becomes very hollow. How do you remove that enjoyment? What did he do? The moment they put him into that box the next time, he didn't resist. These guys were like, come on, Alan, reply, respond. But he didn't. He just was there. And if they tried for some more time, so they realized, oh, forget it. And they went away. Take out the enjoyment. And these guys will stop their act because that act becomes hollow. To pull, there has to be something here which can be pulled out, isn't it? So we sometimes talk, no, the television is the villain. Or the cell phones these days is the biggest villain. They're not. These are just technologies which has come. We are in the path of Dwapara Yuga. It is all going to evolve. What is the evil? That's a very big statement. but. It is that there is something within us that responds to these pulls. And we may call this is our conditioned mind, our conditioned existence. We know watching television gives joy, or a temporal one may say. Socialization also brings us something. Food gives us something. Indulging any kind of a sensual activity brings us joy. It has been our experience. What does the more wisdom says, but it doesn't last. Mm -hmm. There are also consequences, mm -hmm. and that's the insight. But within ourselves, this conditioning is probably there for not only this lifetime, as they say, many, many, many lifetimes. And this conditioning, as long as it is there, the delusion has something to pull. Mm -hmm. So we don't need to worry about these one who are trying to pull. What do we need to do? is as Alan Turing was talking about, just drop that conditioning. Stop that reliance. Every time we have a choice, do we choose to stay onto that firm ground or I uh, go back to my old conditioning?